Hi my friends and welcome to a new video. In this little video I show you how to upload an avatar to VRChat. Now we are ready to go. So the first thing we are gonna do is we click on create new project. Then we choose avatars 2022. We name the project. Okay, here we go. So uh, if you see there is a latest version, then always update to that version, confirm. Uh, what we also need for, um, for the example avatar I show you is VRC Fury. I show you in a different video uh, how to add VRC Fury to the creator companion. Okay, it's done. And for that avatar, we also need uh, the wholesome SPS configurator. Here we go. And there's another update, so we do that because we don't want to have any error messages. After this is done, we can click on open project and now we have to wait for Unity as always. We're just waiting for Unity to finish this step and then we can go on. Okay, here we go. So very important is that you first add your shaders and the avatar at last so um, that there won't be any issues. Uh, the first shader I need to use is the Poyomi 2. A link for that is in the description and I will add it now. I do a right click and import package. And then we search and open. Okay, here we go. And um, then we click on all and on import. And then we have to wait again for Unity. Okay, here we go. Our shader is loaded in. So next step is the avatar. We do it on the same way. Import package and then we're looking for the avatar. Um, there we go. Okay, here we go. We just click on import and wait again. Okay, our avatar is now in the project. The next step is to click on the scene file. It's this little cube here. Double click it and here we go. Here is our beautiful avatar. Um, I see there's a little... Uh, the Geisha manager isn't in that project. That's not a big problem. We can delete that. If you like the avatar and you want to have it, uh, it's on sale on my Gumroad. A link for the avatar is in the description. So what we're gonna have to do now is to log in into the VRChat SDK. Okay, here we go. Then we click on this builder thing. Scroll down if there are um, some tabs where stands auto fix. Do that um, because it fixed your problem. Uh, if not then you're ready to go then you can mark this little check mark here and click on build and publish. Yeah that's all with the upload. So um, I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you and I would really like if you like the video that you uh, push the like button or subscribe um, because I'm just a little YouTuber and I want to grow a bit and this would be great and yeah thanks for everything and we see us in the next video. Bye bye.